Hello, today I'm making strawberry shortcake. In a bowl, add two eggs and 60 grams of sugar. Mix until combined. I'm using an electric hand mixer. In a separate bowl that's larger than the one before, add some hot water. Make sure it's enough to fully submerge the other bowl. Add the first bowl into the hot water and whisk until the mixture gets to 30 degrees Celsius or 85 degrees Fahrenheit. This took me about 5 minutes on medium speed. Take the bowl out of the water and continue mixing until the mixture is thick enough to make a ribbon. This took me about 10 minutes. Then, add 60 grams of sifted flour. Fold in the flour. In a separate bowl with 15 grams of melted butter, add a little bit of the mixture in and combine. This will make it easier to mix into the big mixture. Add the butter in and fold. Try not to overmix. In a baking pan lined with parchment paper, pour the mixture in. I'm using an 8x8 inch baking pan. Tap the pan a few times and then bake at 170 degrees Celsius or 340 degrees Fahrenheit for 22 minutes. Meanwhile, we can make the sugar syrup. Add 40 milliliters of hot water and 20 grams of sugar. Mix until the sugar is dissolved. Then, rinse and dry 8 to 10 strawberries. It's important to dry them so the water doesn't seep into the cake. Cut the strawberries into even pieces. If it's not even, then the cake won't be level. I also recommend putting each piece on a paper towel just so the paper towel can absorb the extra moisture. I also decided to use four whole strawberries as toppings. Once the cake is done, take it out of the oven and transfer it onto a cooling rack. While it cools, we can make the whipped cream. In a bowl, add 20 milliliters of heavy cream, 25 grams of sugar, and 100 grams of non-sugar yogurt. Whisk until it's at stiff peaks. It took me about seven minutes on high speed. This will help it hold the cake together. Peel the parchment paper off the cake and cut it in half. This will make two layers. Start with one layer and brush on some of the sugar syrup. This will make sure the cake is not dry. Then add one layer of whipped cream. Spread it evenly. This might be a little messy, but it's okay. Then add one layer of the strawberries. I also recommend cutting the strawberries to make it fit into tinier places. Add another layer of the whipped cream and spread it evenly. Make sure you add the whipped cream to the side as well. Add the next layer and brush on another layer of the sugar syrup. Add the last layer of whipped cream. Don't forget the edges. Cool it in the refrigerator. Meanwhile, I'm going to add one drop of red food coloring to the rest of the whipped cream to make it a pretty pink color. I'm going to use this as a piping decoration, but it's totally optional. Take the cake out of the refrigerator and trim the sides. This will allow a neater finish. Try not to throw the excess away, it's just as delicious. After cutting the cake into four pieces, I'm adding strawberries on top. I actually decided to move them to the middle so I could pipe two pink decorations on the side. This strawberry shortcake is just the right sweetness with a perfectly fluffy cake to balance the strawberries. And it's so fun to make. 